we're going to show you this remake of an older pattern that I've done. He's much easier and he's just darling. It's a Teddy Santa. So he's got some darling trees and you open up his jacket. He's got his little teddy bear. You open up his jacket and there he's got his teddy bear slippers. He's called Teddy Santa. You can get this pattern on our website www.thimble-art.com Okay, we foundation pieced these three pieces. This quilt was enlarged 150%. The pattern is um, a smaller quilt and it's 10 by 10. So it's we kept it this way so you can make a darling miniature, but also because it's very easy to get exactly the size you want. So for example, 150% enlargement will give you 15 inches. 140% would give you 14 inches so you can choose whatever size you want from the pattern you're given. So these have been foundation pieced. Our dimensional pieces were made just as our other patterns patterns were with a Xerox copy placed on top of two pieces of fabric right side together. Now the beard is fleece so I don't layer it with polyester bond and batting but if this was the cotton I would that just gives a really good body on the edges. A little extra stuffing stuffed in these but kept away from the seam line and the machine basted. it. Now this body was placed as it's a separate piece placed on top of this piece and it comes short right here. Um, this will be covered by the head so it doesn't matter that it's open but it's much easier to put these three pieces together and then stuff his tummy through this hole. Now we're going to make his coat that's going to fit inside this seam. I've used a drawstring um, and the, it's uh, one and a fourth inch. Uh, and then I cut some fleece and the dimensions are in the pattern. And then I'm going to just make my own piping. I took a zipper foot and will sew along the edge. And then I place it on the rounded part of his jacket so it's I stitch right next to that the puffiness of the drawstring then I'm and I do have batting then I'm going to place this on top and then I'm going to sew right along that edge using my zipper foot and when I turn it right side out I have this really neat trim for his jacket now that is going to go um, into this seam and I need to make sure the jacket is lifted a quarter of an inch from here so that I can put um, the base, another seam right here. And then his little bear bunny slippers will be put, or bear slippers will be put on after he's all put together. So I'll do the two jacket sides, I'll sew this here, this side, that makes a straight edge for me to do the other tree. Trying to keep in mind that I want his, the tops of his arms to match. Okay, our Santa head is like this. We've closed off the, the openings on the back and whip stitched the beard to the back of the head. I've added a little extra stuffing. The um, nose is just a circle that's hand gathered and stuffed and pulled tight. And then you blind stitch that little nose to the head. It just is a real fun feature. Just take your time and just where it comes out, go back in exactly across from it so it won't so that stitch won't show. Then our beard was um, sewn all the way around and slit through one layer and that will go across the back of course and then I gathered the center whip stitched across and then that will be tacked here under the nose and then the ha hair or the trim of the hat goes like this I'll just blind stitch that on and then I, I use these little seed beads for the eyes and if you put them closer together he just looks more cartoony. I'll use a little crayon or colored pencil, blush the cheeks, and then he will go on top of the quilt. Here we've put our quilt together. Now 
I didn't mention that when I um, sewed this in, I the this inside stuff is cut back to here. So this is just fleece up here. And it shows on the edges and stuff, but your drawstring I cut back because that's just way too thick to go through on the seams. And then if this is too thick, you can do um, the sleeve without stacking it with batting. Just stuff it and stuff it away from the seam allowance and that will help. This little bear is way fun. I've made all the pieces the same as we've made our other pieces by putting our Xerox copy on top of two layers and sewing on the solid line, cutting on the dash line. Now this is a fleece which makes it really easy for turning and um, I didn't have to put batting in this because it kind of carries its own fluffiness. Okay now here's the nose and it's just a circle. I didn't sew two pieces together. I just gathered around the outside with double thread, just a hand gather. Now I'm going to sew across the opening to keep it kind of shut. Then I flatten it like this and put it on top of the head that was sewn and slit through one layer. So it was sewn all the way around and I added a little stuffing and then um, stitched the opening shut. Even though the opening's going next to the quilt, it kind of helps keep the shape of the roundness of the head. Now I've got my thread coming out from the bottom. I'm just going to blind stitch that little nose right on to the head. Okay. Then I'll use the seed beads again for the nose and I'll maybe use a small pom-pom or button or another seed bead, I mean for the eyes and then a, another one for the nose. And then the, the little ears, I'm going to gather, whip stitch them on the back. Then the body's going to go on top and the legs and the little hands. Now there are just a few details as we put our borders on. We, we in this seam put our package which was sewn on three sides of the square and open here and then it's just put into that seam. Also wrapped um, ribbon around it, caught that in the seam. This is really a fun part of the quilt are these little bear slippers and they're just felt that are the little shapes are cut and then I cut two shapes and then whip stitch around the outside. I added just a little bit of stuffing into the uh, muzzle when I put that on. And then when you do the, I put two together for the ears whip stitched and then pinch them together when I whip stitch them on the back of the head. And then the little seed beads for his face, nose, and eyes. And here's our, our Santa head. It's just darling. And he's going to be sewn down. Now I'm going to, um, I'm going to actually take the sewing machine and really sew him down hard here so that he's not looking up as much. He tends to want to look up because of all of this stuffing, but I want him to kind of look a little straight on. And then the bear was all whip stitched, all his little appendages whip stitched to the backs, so doesn't show, and then he will kind of sit on the border like that. He's just darning. And then we'll show the finished product. Now to finish him, we've outlined, stitched our little believe. We've added little buttons to embellish him. We've wrapped ribbon around his tummy with a little belt loop um, belt buckle snowflake. We've wrapped ribbon around the present. It was inserted into this seam and of course our little tie on our bear. And added our borders and quilted him and he just turns out to be darling.